Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Oh, no, no Embercleaf? Hold on. They always have it. This must be a bug. Card Kingdom has all the Kaldheim singles and pre-orders that you could ask for up for pre-order right now. So go and pre-order all the sweetest cards and some of the most metal-looking cards in recent MTG history. Go do that at cardkingdom.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Fish 5-0. With Kaldheim around the corner and looking like it's going to be bringing a ton of sweet sagas and stuff like that, I had to get back to it. We had to try a bunch of, uh, you know, enchantment-based uh, decks and, you know, maybe uh, something a little more Yori on Sky Noodle-centered because I feel like we're going to be able to blink a lot of enchantments with the new standard. Uh, so I, I'm taking a list that was originally done by... I, okay, I'm going to... Probably butcher their name, but Fandanunu. Uh, they 5 0 a league with it. I made some tweaks with it, maybe just a little bit more out of the sideboard. I added the shades because I've been loving the Skyclave shades. Uh, but that's about it, and maybe tweaking some of the numbers in the main deck. But for the most part, the original list, it's like 90% the, the original list. So, uh, first off, congratulations, Fandanunu, for the, to piloting it to a 5 0. And of course, let's see. The overall point of the deck, by now, you probably can figure it out. Doom Foretold, meaning that we've got a bunch of, like, random permanents. The deck list had a bunch of singletons. I like that. I love me some singletons. Uh, so we can go ahead and sack some of these singletons. And then it's also got Shevel, and you know I love me some Shevel. And we're, of course, going to try to blink all of it with Yorion. And, of course, if any of it goes bye-bye... In, like, well, because we're in Abzan, we have Eerie Ultimatum, which kind of serves as our Dance of the Mance. So, yeah, we're going to try this deck list out and see how well we do in on the ladder. I will surprisingly keep this. I think I like it. Oh, red-black? So maybe they're like red-black mid-range or something? That's like, we're, we're, we're in the business for that. So I, I'm here for that. All right, we have removal. I like removal. I mean, I just like removal in general, except for unless I'm playing against a deck that has creatures, but... Or, I mean, doesn't have creatures. Alright, big oo-woo energy here. Just channeling my bigger in inner oo-woo energy. There it is. Mardu, alright. So I have to assume that they are probably some form of Yorion, right? So we're looking at a Yorion foretold uh, mirror here. So I'm just going to play this Elspeth's Nightmare. All right. All right. So let's see here. How do we go about that card? Uh, I can play Solemn, set an upkeep, uh, stop on my upkeep, yeah? Yeah, so that's steal for four. Um... I guess I'll go ahead and get rid of the Blood Chief's Thirst, because that is this only steals three or less, so that doesn't matter to me. So I'll go ahead and steal that. Um, my question is, how much do I want... Like, I'm not a fan of getting hit. You know what I mean? Of uh, By the opponent's card there. But it's not really that bad, actually. So I'll just go ahead and play this. Uh, Solemn. Set an upkeep. Kill the Woe Strider, right? Take the action? Why, yes, yes, I, I would like to do that. Thank you. Um, all right, so get a black source. Pass the opponent here, right? They can't steal my my Solemn. They can, they can shock it, but if they shock it... Oh, my goodness, never mind. Well, that's one way to go about it, actually. Actually, you know what? How do I go about this here? I... I don't know if that's worth it, right? Here's what I'll do. I'll kill the, the Woe Strider. Alright, so they're choosing to give me that back. Um, yeah, that's fine. Sure. So got rid of all of their shenanigans. Let me make sure I'm reading this right. Can I... So, destroy target not land permanent if it's a creature. Target if it's a creature or if... Oh, oh my god. The wording on that just registers so weird to me.
Seems good, I guess. I mean, that's not the worst thing that could be happening to me here. All right. I mean, these woe striders will be a problem over time. Can I not kill this? All right, I can, right? So, but I, I could pay. Wait, no, I could pay there. Like, if they want to sack it, that's fine, right? They sack it, they draw a card. That's not the worst thing to me. I want this card gone. Sure, so they got card draw off that. That's pretty good for the opponent. I'm not even sure how bad it would be if I just... Play this, make them sacrifice something. I, th I think I want to hold on to that, right? Because I need... All right, so the mana cost is black, black, black. So we need triple black, green, green. We already are off of that right now. Or I guess we have... Okay. Okay, hold on. No, let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. All right. Uh, now we pass it back to the opponent, right? Because they, they they have the wrinkle, right? We have to respect that wrinkle. And I do not mind throwing the Yorion away when they connect. Because the, the Yorion going to the yard means we get it back with Eerie Ultimatum. Uh, one, two, three, four. As long as, like, we don't get hit by Kroxa and, like, multiple things, like, and that makes me, like, really sad, uh, you know, like, the, we, we should be okay. So, that, okay, sure. Another one of those magical, magical cards called Woe Strider. There's Kroxa. You got it. All right. Resolves. There's Kroxa. They have three cards in the yard here. Alright, so now I can go ahead and make them exile their graveyard. I'll just play the, Yor the Doom Foretold here. They have to sacrifice something. So once again, this is... How does this read? Green, white, okay, cool. So, black, green, green, white, white, black, black. Okay, we have all the mana we need. Seems reasonable. They give it haste, we go down to nine, right? I kind of want to just play this. Right? So, I mean, I get to kill a goat token. Sure, whatever. I wonder if I could still get the value. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get too much value, though, right? I mean, let, let's see here. Am I getting greedy? Because I could technically wait one more turn, right? Oh, hold on, let me see if I play this. So that makes it, so there's green, green, so black, 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 green, green, well, no, that doesn't work. Ah, I'll just go for it. Let's just get everything back. Drag triggers to choose the resolution order. I want all these things to resolve first. So kill a goat. Take the action. Get a get a green source again. Sure, green, green. Uh, let's blink, blink, and blink. Then we put the untapped Wolf Willow Haven or whatever on that. Kill another goat. They have to sacrifice. Take the action. We'll grab a black source this time.
and they can't steal anything of ours. So now they have to immediately get the the Kroxa train going. But if once they do that, it, it goes bye bye anyways. So I I don't know if it matters if they play Kroxa. Like if they play Kroxa, there that's their turn, right? They could give it haste, sure. I would chump block with an Omen of the Sun token. Let's see what you got, opponent. Timmy calls the dead. All right, Timmy's gonna call the dead. All right. They get a zombie. That's not exactly the most uh, threatening thing to us, so sure. I'll go ahead and just make a token here, and I'll sacrifice my omen. Perfect. Uh, they don't have anything to give haste anymore. I don't mind it. Here you go, opponent. They'll get to mill. They get to play a card. I'll sack the Wolf Willow Haven. I'll mark whatever for death uh, through Shevel. All right, there's Kroxa. You got it, as expected. Now, if they have the ability to claim the Firstborn here, give that haste. That's a little nasty, but Shevel can also just block that, so... All right, there's the shade. Yep. That's pretty good against Doom Foretold. Uh, what do I want to do here? They're going to sacrifice something. Um, I'll put on the Kroxa. Sure. I'll sacrifice the Solemn here. Draw a card. That gives me two cards now. It's a lot of nothing there for me, unfortunately. Yup, so opponents now decided they were going to sack Skyclave Shade. I just trade Shevel into the Kroxa. If not, I have to trade the whole board into Kroxa, but... Woe Strider is a problem. They... How many Woe Striders have I seen? All of them? That's that's the last one, right? Okay. Like, if they want to attack, we just trade Shovel. Like, it, it, Shovel's going right into it. Immediately then replacing the card that we're about to lose. And I'm not swinging the Yorion because I know they have Rankle. They are waiting to connect with that Rankle. Oh, I know they want to attack. I know you want to attack, opponent. I know you want to attack. Yeah, there it is. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go and fetch. All right. Move uh, the shovel in front. Perfect. And we're going to sack the Wolf Willow Haven here. Sure, that seems good. Let's cycle. What do we draw? No more lands. All right. Still drew a land. Okay. Um, okay, we got more lands to share. It's okay. Lands are good. Lands are a feature of the game. So, yeah, all right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sack the visionary here. All right, they drew a land. They get to play the Skyclave Shade, so they sack that. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool.
Oh god, I didn't mean to attack with my ground unit there, though. I meant to attack only with Yorion. Yup. Seems good. So they sack their thingy mabobber there. They can play Wo Strider, right? Exile four other cards. So they need one more card in the yard and they can they can play it again. Now if they don't play anything, I might just sack the Yorion, but Alright, so they're playing that again. Then I'll just sack the Doom Foretold. That's fine. All right. Let's see. So how do they go about this? I'll let it take the damage, right? We, we It takes the damage at the end of their turn. We remove the counters on it. Where are my useful spells? Oh no, okay. All right, there you go. I drew a land again. Uh, there's another land there. I'm not winning this race, so all right, I gotta sit back and block. I can't take that because if they play a land, like if they if they have a Kroxa, they can just kill me, right? I don't want that. All right, so I need my win conditions. At any point here, if I could find a win condition, that'd be nice. Yep, anytime now, I'd like to draw a win condition. All right, that's a blocker. That feels kind of bad to just play as a blocker, but we need it, so... Alright, their turn. They draw removal, we're dead, by the way. I have to just keep doing this. I have to just keep throwing stuff into them. That's really good. That card actually just gives them two Skyclave Shades, so... Legitimately, I need to find something to do this turn. Or I am dying. Come on, deck. Anything to do. That's Please just not a land. Oh, that's so good, because that also gives them the Woe Strider, huh? That does. Wow, that card does wonders right now. Okay, well, what could I possibly draw? Uh, that actually isn't the worst, right? It, it negates that, it blocks, so I put it myself at one. So if they find a way to scry here and steal this or kill this, it's game over. All right, GG's. Yup, they got it. I can't beat that. That's three damage, right? So I'm at five no matter what I die. Drew too many lands at the end there. Um, but what's going to be great is the amount of stuff that I can bring in here to deal with how problematic a lot of their deck is. Because a lot of their deck is just recursion, right? Over and over and over. Uh, what other things can I use here? Uh, let me see. 
Pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spells or activate abilities. Uh, I guess that, that shuts down Woe Strider, which is kind of nice. Uh, what else do I want now? Uh, Lily's probably not that great here. We have two Ugin, so that's pretty good. Oh, uh, I cannot keep that. That is a hand that is what I was lacking all of last game, which was like any kind of win condition. Um... Sure, I'll take that. That's not bad. So we have a green mana on turn four. That's what matters here. I will... I'll keep that. I'll keep that. That's not bad. That's not bad. If it gets taken from our hand, that's not the end of the world either. All right, we're going to go for the Birth of Miletus. Grab a Plains. Pass back to the opponent here. That's four mana. Green source allows me to go get Yorion. Put that into hand. All right, let's see what they've got now. Croxa, how bad is Croxa for us? Not really that bad, right? So they're gonna play Village Rights, I assume. Yep, there it is. I think I'm gonna just discard the Eliminate here. All right, cool. Got something there off of, at, at least I got a Birth of back. That's not the end of the, like the worst thing. Duress, sure, they get whatever back. They can't steal my Yorion, so they throw ECD away, I just get it back. Uh, black, black, white, white. Uh, we need a another black source, right? To make sure that we have ultimatum mana? Yeah. Okay, we'll go get ECD back. So Timmy Calls the Dead, we, I don't even know if I want to exile Timmy Calls the Dead, but they are filling up a lot of their graveyard, which can be a little problematic. So next turn, they could have one more thing that they need. Um, so let's see, I put that on there. What is that? Adds an additional, so that's four. Hold on, hold on, let me make sure I do this right. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Tamaric Calls the Dead. If they attack, I'll gladly sacrifice the Acolyte of Affliction. Okay, that's fine with me. Can I find a way to get rid of my Acolyte of Affliction? Uh, what can I do here? If they play Croak so I can discard something, but... Alright, we gotta find a Plains. We seem to draw a lot of lands here. So it's not great that we just keep drawing those, but it's what I've got. I'm going to pass so we get some kind of value off of maybe, like, having a shovel. Could 
Because they're for sure like going to play a Croaxa or something like that pretty soon. Perfect. I mean, maybe we're lucky. We'll get them to uh, throw away, like, attack this turn. Then we can block with Acolyte of Affliction. All right, what do you have for me? Perfect! All right, I got another 04 Defender. Get that card back. And now we exile the Ox. I'll just play a Plains. I'm sure they can't resist attacking with Kroxa. If that's the case, then I don't mind blocking. Okay, so that's done. Alright, there's Timmy Calls the Dead again. How do I get rid of, uh, like, Croaks, actually? That seems to be the biggest issue here. Sure, Rankle. I assume they always have it, so that's why I leave back Yorion. All right, now we pass. Okay, so how do I get something back from the graveyard here? What do I need to get back? If I get the Acolyte of Affliction, I can bring back a specific card? Or is it a permanent? Turn permanent, okay. So ECD, stuff like that, sure. And I'm, I, unfortunately, I'm going to just have to, like, exile the Woe Strider. Um, there we go. And now I'll get to draw a card. This is going to be a grindy one. Luckily, though, for us, that we have, like, five minutes more than the opponent. So there's a chance they just might time out if they continue to give us a little more time. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, no, they, get to, they, they just get to throw away what I have. That sucks. Well, good news that I get to just get it back because I'll get the uh, Acolyte of Affliction. And I'll get an Ugin. And we're going to go ahead and minus for four here. I'll do it for three or less, so I get to keep everything. Yep, there they go. They get their Kroxa back. Sure, they keep whatever that is on top. Doesn't sound that bad of an idea. They lose all their zombie tokens. They can scry a ton. It's the same thing over and over, though. They're gonna... Like, they're killing their own clock every second that they take doing that. Now we leave it back. So they lose Woe Strider. That's a pretty good draw. That's a good one. I no longer wish to stay. And I'm just going to go ahead and play the Elspeth's Nightmare. And I'm just going to attack with the uh, Acolyte of Affliction and pass. Pass. 
seems good. Uh, sure, I'll just attack, I guess. If they want to block this, they're more than welcome to. They don't get to sacrifice anything, though, thanks to Yuri on here. Or Yasharn. And so that looks like it's going to be the last croak so they have. Or, I mean, that is the only croak so they have, so that's going to be gone. Uh, I don't mind attacking with all of it. Sure. If they block like that, that means I don't have to worry about Rankle anymore. And I'll just send in these cards. Like right now, as long as Woestrider shut down, they can't fix their draws anymore. I'll play the land. This means that if they have Duress, they might use it. Also on top of that, it makes it so that... Okay, sure, you have a Shade, you got it. I still have Chumpers. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. I don't even mind if they actually have another Rankle. Like, they're, they're also just dead, right? Like, they, they have to deal with our board here. All right, perfect. Treacherous Blessing. I think the game is... I, if I've, I, like, this, I don't know how they come back from this, right? They have to have an answer to this ECD. If they don't, they know Ugin's coming back. All right, seems good to me. You got it. I think this is good enough to call it a game, though. And there they go. We get in for that. I mean, they, it comes down to what they want to do. We'll just go ahead and blink here, get all of our cards back. And that should be enough to get them to pick up their cards. The opponent's got 12 minutes left on the clock here. Um, Doom Foretold doesn't seem great against this opponent, does it? I wonder if Agonizing Remorse is something I want. Uh, probably not. Alright, there it is. Ooh, okay, so this doesn't have actually any early interaction, but it does have enough things in it to make me keep the hand, right? I mean, we have Llanowar Visionary. So what do I need here? A second white source, second green source. Okay. I have black, black, right? We have, this is whatever the mystery color I need it to be. I don't want any more lands. I think I want this to be a white source. White source, green source, right? Yeah, white source, green source. Uh, then next turn I can go ahead and play a black source in the swamp here. We play Llanowar Visionary, they can steal it. Which would be kind of annoying because then the mana replaces itself. But I guess they'd probably want to hit me with it, right? Sure, Woe Strider, you got it. I think I pass. If I'm being completely honest, I think I just pass. 
I need to be able to answer instant speed there, Rankle. Uh, that's perfect. Neth uh, Mythos of Nethroid mana. Opponent's got 10 minutes and 30 seconds. I'll take three here. I'm not killing anything until their, uh, the end of their turn. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, sure. Interesting. Okay. That's fine. They have a lot of escape cards. That's what I, I've noticed, and that's fine. And we, we need to find our uh, any of our four Elspeth Conquers. Or I mean, Elspeth uh, does something. There it is. Elspeth's Nightmare. Elspeth does something. That card. And they're going to lose their graveyard here pretty quick. Because they need to spend a mana, right? To They need to spend a card, so they need to spend mana. What do we have to do here? Bone Crusher, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, perfect! All right, so how do we go about this one? We block, we draw. Let me think here. I'm going to put the Yorion into my hand. Then I'm going to play this. So they're going to get their Phoenix back. Right, so it's four mana, three other cards. They get their Phoenix. That's seven, right? Set a draw, uh, an upkeep answer. So I'm going to probably go down a decent amount of health here, though. Right, so that's seven, down to nine. Draw step. Okay. Guess let's play another black source. We have so black, 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 white, white, green. We need one more green source. I'm down to five here. Croaks is gonna look pretty good for the opponent pretty soon. Bone Crusher, I'm down to three. All right, so I have to chump block twice. Let me think here, is that gonna work? How much mana is that? That's one, two, three, four. All right, so I think we might be able to survive here if the opponent doesn't draw a removal spell. If they draw a Rankle, we're dead. They draw a Croak, so we're in trouble, but not dead. So they're cycling, they're making sure they have enough to what? Their mana is tapped in a very suspicious way. Alright, they have it. GG's. They have some kind of removal, right? So, good game. GG's. Oh, let's play first. Okay, cool. Finally. The treacherous blessing that we've been needing. I think this deck needs a little bit more graveyard hate, but we'll see. Oh, well, there's the graveyard hate we were asking for, so that's not bad. And I'm just going to go ahead and play the uh, Elspeth's Nightmare, get a better idea of what the opponent's hand looks like. Yep, Treacherous Blessing gone. Uh, okay, so they took our best spell that we could have.
Uh, what can I do now? So we have green, white, white, black. So I want a second white source here, just in case. Yeah, I'll play the Doom Foretold. Make him discard a card. I get a body out of it. I feel like the Null Priest of Oblivion or whatever isn't needed. Uh, what do I want them? What are they going to do here? If they don't have a land, they are going to be stuck for a little bit. And I'm just going to play Yorion. Like as a flat out, just a 4-5 beater. I wanted to play the, the Doom Foretold because I really need to hit another land, right? Oh my gosh, what are we... What are they keeping on top? It has to be a land, right? Okay, opponent's got it. That's fine with me. What, they cast the, uh... Yeah, okay, sure. Agonizing Remorse. Take whatever you want. Alright, there goes Yorion. Perfect. Got to keep everything we wanted. Ooh, and we got to even... Uh, I don't know if I want to actually play the Pelucranos into an extinction event, so... I abandoned my work. Because that gives them the value that they're looking for, right? In that they want to get rid of the knight. And on top of that, they get to get rid of my Pelucranos? No, thank you. How do I get out of here? So I can go ahead and attack for two. Get them to probably use the extinction event on a Yorion. Alright, I'll play Yorion just to have a body. Pass. And now we can play the Pelucranos. All right, Atris, that's fine. Uh. Cool. That is exactly, that is kind of unfortunate that they have the Heartless Act there. Maybe I should have left the Heartless Act face up. Oh, that's not bad at all. So that, how many Yorions is that now? That's one, two, and then here's three. Yeah, I, I guess I have to play. I'm going to play this. We're throwing it into the sun so they can extinction event it. And I mean, this way they use their extinction event, thus exiling their own Atris. That's kind of good news for us. Sure, we're down to 18. What do they name? Black, so that means they are trying to pump their Ashiok tokens, uh, their wolf tokens probably from six mana Garrick. Oh, that is quite nice for us. Uh, I'm not going to cast anything. I don't need to. They'll deal with it eventually. Uh, yeah, that's great. Sure.
I'll go ahead and kill the Atris because that gives us, so we don't take a ton of damage here over time because we have that treacherous blessing. I'll go ahead and play the birth. Grabbing a land, play the Yorion. Blink for both of these cards. I won't have the Yorion anymore because they're going to Extinction Event here. Grab the last planes in the deck. Let's throw away some lands. Alright, so we have triple white, black, black, green, green. Another black source here. They also have a permanent in Heraldic Banner, so that's good for our Doom Foretold. There we go. We got the Extinction Event from the opponent. Uh, I have to assume they have more removal in hand here. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. And I'll just pass. So they sack the emblem here. Goes back to me. I'll go ahead and sacrifice the Treacherous Blessing. Actually, you know what? I will end the turn. Do I want to sacrifice the Treacherous Blessing? Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. I get it back at some point. Another, how much does it cost? Okay, how many cards? I have to escape six other cards. I have a total of nine. So let's say I draw into any of my... Yeah, you know what? I have to go for it, right? I, let's see. One, two. So I eat a Doom Foretold. Uh, Fabled Passage. Swamp. Heartless Act. Birth. Okay, okay. Yeah, I still got to play it. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need Birth. Two, three, four. ECD probably has not many useful targets here. And Doom Foretold. So the only thing I really need to keep in there is Yorion and uh, a Treacherous Blessing, just in case. Perfect. So if the Extinction Event, is it worth it to blow up my own thing just to keep... A Pelucranos around. All right, and we got there. Perfect. So this is going to be a matchup where we want to have answers to the Planeswalkers. Probably need the Agonizing Remorse. Heartless Act not as great. Eliminate, probably not that great. I mean, Heartless Act is better than Eliminate, that's for sure. Um... Let's see, do I need Shovel? What does Shovel do for us? Like, they play Planeswalkers. Their creatures come in the form of, like, tokens. Um, yeah, I think this is all good. All right, we'll run it. As weird as this sound, I, th I, th I think I'm going to keep this hand. All landers against a deck that has nothing but discard, right? Like, they've probably got more discard spells and things like that. Uh, I'll just... Keep playing. I mean, I kind of want to thin my deck out to get another black source, I guess. Sure. Deck thinning! So, black source, black source, white source, white source, green, green. Yeah, sure. Because, yeah, they've got duresses, they've got agonizing remorse, so I just chose to keep more lands. I believe that's the secret tech against a deck that plays a bunch of discard spells. Because then eventually, whatever you draw, you just play immediately. Alright. So we want another black source here. Sure. Uh, let me go get that. I want to leave a few planes just so I can get it later with the uh, Birth of Miletus. And, uh, which one do we not want here? I guess we could just get rid of the Murderous Rider permanently, right? I'm surprised they let me keep the Lily, but I guess they were planning on keeping 
the uh, murderous rider, right? So they want to keep that castle on the board, so. Am I more afraid of what they could play off of this? I think I am, right? I'm more afraid of what they could play off of the Heraldic Banner. Because, yeah, whatever. They play an Ashiok, sure. Right, that, that'd be annoying, but not the end. If they don't play anything, then we just go ahead and blow up the Heraldic Banner. Or we don't even... I don't even know if we do that. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just take my turn. I'll try to play it if it resolves. Negate seems good. Oh, man. So that means their deck is nothing but counter spells and discard spells, right? Sure, a Garrick, but we can blow up Garrick, right? We drew another land here. This is affecting me more than I thought. Little bit flooded. I'll admit, I'm a little bit flooded now. So we take six here. So we want to keep what aggression do we have? Like our early creatures, but that's not really aggressive, right? Um, so they have negates, they have discard spells, and they have very few, like, threats outside of just Garrick's and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to put the Yorion into hand here. It's apparent that we are not going to get more out of the opponent because they're just going to sit back and wait until we deal with the two tokens. All right, go ahead, opponent. So they have blue-green at the end of my turn. They're just going to cycle a wilt. Sure, you got it. They'll draw a card here. They're in a position where they can. The castle's very good against us. Okay. Sure, their own Pelucranos. Well, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, no, GG's. Um, I mean, I'll try for this. Probably gets countered or something. So they have their own Pelucranos, their own way of, like, being uh, aggressive, right? They have a clock here. They have a nice, a weird mixture of cards, but... Let me see. I, I want to see more of what their deck is, because discard spells, a ton of those, and negate decks. I mean, I guess we're not really also, like, jamming a ton of clocks either, so they can sit back and play the slow game. All right, sure. Well, I'm down to two. Uh, nope, not good enough. GG's. Drew a Doom Foretold, not exactly what we want here, uh, because they still have the 2-2 body. Huh. Maybe we do want all the early clock now. My Triton's not that great. I have drawn quite a bit of lands, and it almost makes me want to cut a land. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a land. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. Sure. This is exactly what we are looking for. Uh, a little, a little bit of sl on the slower side, but now we're a little land light, but we'll hope that it works out. Also, I think we should have probably brought in Skyclave Shades here. I had just realized that. We want to be lowering our curve against all of these counterspell stuff, so. Main, sure. Let's go push that to the bottom. Let's keep digging for lands.
Uh, I'll go ahead and attach that to the forest, the Wolf Willow Haven. That allows me to now play Solemn. Sure. I think they probably want to get rid of the Nightmare, right? Like, if they, if they don't get rid of the Nightmare, I'm just going to go ahead and immediately cast that. Because they have more negates and stuff like that than they do anything else in their deck, right? Uh, what do I want to do here? Sure, I'll go ahead and play. Do I want a white source? I have green, green, black, 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 right? Yeah, we'll get a black source here. And then I'll just go ahead and attack. So they kept a two lander, so their hand is probably pretty counter and like threat heavy, yeah? Great. Uh, I'll go get and grab another black source because your uh, Yasharn here can get me anything I need in the, like and get the uh, green and white sources. So we're gonna go ahead and go to combat. Play, put Yorion into hand, and now we're just gonna run away with it. Uh, we go attack first, so that's one, two, three, six. I'll play Yorion into this. And I'll go grab an Plains Forest, check. Take the action, go ahead and grab another Swamp. So that looks like it's going to be it for our opponent. I'm curious how good, like, how stacked their hand is on removal and stuff like that. It was good enough to keep a two-lander, right? All right, and GG's. Grindy, grindy, grindy. Ooh, we got to take the play. There's a Karuga here. All right, sure. I don't know what that means. Like, it's probably like an Is it deck or something. What deck plays Karuga? You stop playing standard for a little bit, all of a sudden Karuga appears again, huh? Oh, that's a, that is the opposite of a land here. That is the opposite of a land. That is a seven drop. That is very color intensive. All right, let's go for Mire Triton. Oh, I want that treacherous blessing. Wait, uh, unless, what are the, uh, no, no, they're not the same deck, right? I mean, they're, they're Abzan, but they're not the same deck. No way. Get Yorion in hand pass. Uh, yeah, okay. Karuga, so they play three drops. That we know. But would they be, why would they play a Karuga over a Yorion? Unless they have a bunch of Yorion in the main deck, right? Like the whole play set's in the main deck. No, but they have 50 cards. Yeah, okay, so it's not, it's not that. Well, I mean, they can still play Yorion without the 80 cards, but... Yeah, that seems good. Oh, go ahead and play your Sharn. Oh, I'll go get another black source. Uh, I would have probably leave the the. Meyer Triton on board in case they go Doom Foretold. Players can't pay life or sacrifice or to cast spells or activate abilities. But I don't think that stops Doom Foretold. Or does that? Elder Googly Goth, you got it, opponent. The Googles.
Um. You know what? Yeah, I'll just do this. I'll play. I'll play Garrick. I'll play Garrick, kill the Gar uh, Gargadon or whatever, and then force them to answer this Garrick. I mean, they definitely play Mythos of Nethroy. They have they have to answer this. They have to have probably an ECD or something to answer this Garrick. An uh, an Anissa? Hello. Uh, enter the field under your control. Tap target land you control. Okay, that's pretty wild. I will do my best to try to block here. Oh, they have Menace. Okay. I mean, then I'll kill the land, right? I'm gonna go hunt something else. Uh, let me think here. So I go attacks. And now I try to blink my your uh, my Yasharn here. All right, we've thinned the deck out a fair amount now. Throw away that land. That's fine with me. I'm not too worried about my graveyard getting eaten up here. I want them to. Animate another land. That then... So right now we've negated the ramp from Solemn. Let's see what they play in the... Out of the deck? Okay, sure. I guess. It's not bad, I guess. That, that gets rid of my Yasharn. So what I will do here is I'll just wait till the end of their turn. See what... Or maybe they attack, right? If they attack, I kill the Skyclave. Block. Um, I don't know what else they'd have otherwise. I mean, they could have Extinction Event. That doesn't seem that great. If they animate that land, I'm definitely going to blow it up, though. You cannot quell the royal. Uh, destroy target creature with no counters on it. So which one do I want to kill? I would still kill the land here. I'll still kill the land no matter what. Yeah, I'll block. So they're back up. Yeah, we go ahead and kill Nyssa here. I shall return to my isolation. We pass, we get back what we need in Doom Foretold, so they won't have anything to play Karuga off of at least. Now, if they play another Skyclave, that's not the end of the world, right? That gives us another body. And they can't exile the token, so they can exile Doom Foretold. We have a lot of real estate, though. That's the big issue that we've got here. We also cut them off a ton of land, so that's nice. They're two lands behind. Sure, they're at, now at six. Extinction Event won't work. I mean, it will, but only on one, either one, not both. Odd, you got it. Uh, what do I want to do now? I can play Land of War Visionary. Alright, I guess I pass. I mean, 
getting a little flooded again. I, I mean, I have to assume they have more extinction event stuff, so I, I, I want to make sure I have an even and an odd cost at almost all times. This eliminate will be good against the crawling barons that they've got. That's really good for them. Drew another land, unfortunately. That feels as bad as it seems. I guess we pass. I mean, they're going to draw what? How many cards? for each other Wow, that's awesome. That is three cards already. Five mana, three cards, get a 5-4. Yeah, opponent's got it. Atlanta War Visionary. What do they tap out for? Like, if they tap out for the Karuga, that's great news. Alright, cool. So, we'll go ahead and kill the Visionary. All right, there it is. And we go in for six. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. All right, so they're like some kind of Abzan mid-range. They've got some board wipes in there too. Why not? What do I want out of this though? See, so they have Planeswalkers. Skyclave Shade would help me expedite the clock a little. Um, Let's see, what else do I want from this though? Uh, we have Agonizing Remorse, which is kind of good. I don't really know what their deck plays, but I have to imagine that there's non-creature spells, and Agonizing Remorse is good at picking off whatever I can find. So, sure. Do they have anything that makes Yasharn really good? I mean, we, we had a pretty good start there. Uh, Eerie Ultimatum. I have nine cards in the deck. Probably don't need the Mire Triton or the Shovel, although Shovel's kind of, eh, it's kind of decent. Okay. Uh, what else do I want now? So they're going to have answers to a lot of my enchantments. Yeah, definitely. I think I kind of want to cut another land, but we are bringing in an Ugin. Um... Solemn already does its job. I guess we don't need an too many eliminates. Might actually need to keep that in on the draw. We get rid of that. Get rid of. I mean, no, that answer's a planeswalker. Probably don't need shovel then. Pelucranos, how good is that? Um. What else is, like, really good in this matchup? I almost don't know if there is anything worthwhile. Um, all right, let's try this. Uh, this seems good. We have lands. We have the white source we need. Perfect. Uh, go for the white source here. Sure. Uh, let's take a look at their hand. So all of this is bad news bears as of right now. So... You know what? I'll get rid of the... We'll get rid of that. They can keep the Solemn, right? The Solemn will get them their land, but we care about what they play off of it more than anything, so... What lands do I need? I discard a card, so sure. Green source, yeah, okay. Black source, yeah, okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Green, white, white. So now they'll have the mana to do the... Oh, that's not bad either. I'm going to go ahead and play Doom Foretold now. 
Let's get rid of that solemn. Maybe then I have a shot at getting rid of this uh, this treacherous blessing. Or they use that mythos, right? If they use the mythos, that's not the end of the world for us. I'd love for them to use that mythos, but if they find something like Skyclave, ah, well, that's kind of sad news for us, too. I don't think we can allow that to stay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and blow that up. Sure. Second white source... Next turn, we can go play Forest. Still blow up this uh, this Elder Gargaroth thing. Garrick is another powerhouse that I'll have to answer next turn. Well, that helps. Okay, so now we pass again. So I'm going to go ahead and just put Yorion into hand this next turn. I don't know if I'm going to block. I'm actually going to take it, go down to 11. Put Yorion into hand. Three, four, like, right, that's four, five. They, okay, I could potentially play Yorion and it blink everything. They'll have to answer it then. Uh, can I? I mean, like, they, they have to kill this, right? The Land of War Visionary. I'm going to take the four. Garrick again! Oh my gosh! Well, okay, you got it. That's a Garrick. Um, well, what am I supposed to do about that? Okay, I'm gonna go get another black source. Sure. Get a white source. Blow up Garrick again. I'll survive this. That's just two Garricks. Elspeth conquers death. So, if I can draw Eerie Ultimatum, is that even good here? Not really, right? Everything that they've done is exiled my stuff. Nissa, sure. I will defend the land from all interlopers. Landfall. They can bring back Solemn. Alright, that's pretty good. I can't block the forest because that has Menace. So, I'm taking five. Another land, always an, a welcomed sight, and a land to follow it again. Always welcomed. Three, five, yeah, that's not enough. I couldn't, there's nothing I could draw. Three, five, yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I could have cycled, but that's fine, whatever, probably was going to draw another land anyways. Yeah, so I, I think the early aggression is warranted here. They have a lot of planeswalkers. Uh, what do I not want now? Three, no, three Elspeth's Nightmare seems fine. It's another discard spell. That's removal. Okay, this is a decent start. We have an Elspeth's Nightmare. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they were able to just windmill slam Garrick, Garrick, uh, ECD, so pretty good hand there. Unfortunately, I think we it would have been a great back and forth game. Uh, I just We would have just needed to draw, like, not a land for the 50th time. <laughs> um... Uh, what do I 
one here. Green source, white source, black source. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just play your put Yorion into hand. They'll probably play something like uh, the the Mana Dork, right? The Mana Dork will have to kill, play Elspeth's Nightmare. Sure, if they're not gonna play it, then we play our friendly little Solemn here. Black, black, so we want another white source here. Another green source, okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll run with a green. So we have green, green. We need one more white. Solemn of their own, that's pretty good. So let's play Elspeth's Nightmare first. So Elspeth's Nightmare first. This allows us to go ahead and play Treacherous Blessing now. Draw a bunch of cards again. We got an Ugin, so that's exactly what I want to see. At its worst, it can still answer all their Planeswalkers and stuff like that. There's Garrick, as expected, right? Check. You ever listen to the crickets? You're not scared of dogs, are you? Uh, Doom for total their own. All right. That's pretty good for us. So, uh, one, two, three, four. I want to deal with that card and that card. I'm going to go ahead and just kill. Yep, 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 yep. Sure. Let's hang back for a second here. They'll have to sack something. They can't flash anything in out of nowhere. Perfect. So I think we're far enough ahead to where I th we're going to be okay. I mean, part of me wants to just sack the Solemn. Keep the Treacherous Blessing so I can draw more cards, but I'm a very greedy human. Okay, so what are you going to do here? You name Odd. They have the Baloth, right? Yeah. Hmm. I'll sack the uh, Elspeth's Nightmare, actually. I'm pretty greedy, but, you know, I'm pretty greedy. Three, four, five, so that's four, that's seven, that's seven mana. I have eight mana at my disposal. Okay, that seems good. And I'll go ahead and just play this land tapped. Pass back to the opponent here. So all my stuff's coming back. Uh, I'll kill the, uh, let's see. Kill the token, they'll have to sack the visionary. Take the action, go grab a forest. Sure, doesn't matter. This now allows us to go ahead and get back. Oh, well that sucks. We could have played, I guess, the omen, but we still can on our upkeep. So three, six, seven, they can play this, but they don't have a second green. Yeah, there's Solemn again. That's pretty good.
Yeah, I'll just sack the treacherous blessing. It's fine. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Uh, what do I want now? What do I want to get rid of now? Get a white source. Play this Liliana. You wish you had a fraction of my power. Just love the players can't search the libraries. I, I, I want to make sure I'm reading that right. Yeah, okay. We'll just go with that. Send in four. Pass. Okay, so now we have Lily. Sure, Solemn. That's Good for the opponent. You got it, buddy. Three, six. So three, six, nine. So they're looking at... They really are going for the kicker. All right. Okay. And I'm just going to go play the omen. I'm going to sack the omen here. Uh, go ahead and throw away a land or a card from my our hand here. I have no interest in fighting so that's three, six cards that can fight something immediately upon it entering the battlefield. I think I could get them to... Alright, you know what? We'll go ahead and just go to combat here. Uh, one, two, three, four. I could play this, get another black mana out, play that, so that's three, six, seven, eight. Sure, I'm just gonna go ahead and go upstairs at the opponent. Perfection is a journey, not a destination. Consider this a warning. All right, so they sack with the, the Solemn. We'll sack our Solemn. They're running low in cards. I don't mind pitching more of this stuff to my, like, play Yasharn. Make them deal with uh, all the Planeswalkers we got going on. They have to find another Ugin, but that's why I played an Ugin. So that this way Ugin, our Ugin picks off theirs. Okay, good. So now they've got just a tap land. That's not going to do much here. Yeah, okay. I think we have it in the bag here. Say they play Extinction Event, and then they animate that, that land, that's still okay with us. Right, because they name even, they get rid of all my blockers. Leaving me with my odd costed blocker. And that would then get rid of Lily. And then we just pass it back to them, they'll have to discard another card. Yeah, like, I, I think I like where we're at. Now they play the, the Pelucranos, that's three, six mana. They can fight exactly one thing. It's probably going to be this, uh, our little flying uh, Yorion here. Sure, that's good. So they're dead? Hold on, let me think here. What do I want to sacrifice? They're not dead yet. Yeah, I'll just sack the, the Yori on here, or the Doom for, like, the Solemn to the Doom. Alright, that answers that card. We'll go ahead and play... Put them down to four. So they have to sack, and they have to sack again. They have to pitch another card. Sure, I'll just do that. It's cool with me. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, 
Okay, so what do you want to discard here? You have to sack the Solemn, that's okay with me. We make him discard a card. At this point, it's got to be the, uh, the, the, oh, okay, so it's not the Behemoth. I thought it would be the Bailoth. Okay, you got it. That's a big one. I won't even block it. All right, GG's. We're going to take the play. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. We have the early game uh, game plan online with we could block if, with the Meyer Triton if we need it. Uh, I'm going to play the green source, the tapped one first, because if we draw an untapped land, we could also play Land of War Visionary if need be. If it's rogues, we're probably not going to play the Triton. Sure, I'll take the land. The land seems pretty good. All right. Won't play anything yet. Don't want to mill myself here. Uh, that's land number three, four. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Gives me a tap land. I'll take it. All right, so they're red. So is it Gruel? Gruel. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, I think I know what it is. So if I play the Land of War Visionary, it's just going to get stomped, right? So what are some cards in Rakdos midrange that we are worried about? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and play Mire Triton. Oh, perfect. Now we'll see what they play next. So if they play something like, uh, let's see. Oh, it's, it's Jund. Okay, well, that I was not ready for. Okay. So we got our value right now because we can actually pick off the zombie they're going to make if they decide to make it. Right? They can eat the other Timmy Calls the Dead. Do they care about the card in the yard more? Uh, we have white, white. We have black, black, black. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I don't know. They might have something with haste. I'm just leave this back. Corvald is a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Last I checked, that's a decent one. So whatever non-creature spell they have, they have all the, like they they have the incentive now to play it immediately. So they rankle. They make me sack. That's not the end of the world. Sure, seems good. Guy pitch a swamp here, right? Uh, that's not bad either. Let's see, they have that and... Claim the Firstborn. They can give their stuff haste almost instantly. They take my token. That feels kind of bad, but whatever. It's all the same. I guess I take more damage this way. I'll get rid of that. Okay, so what do we have to do now? We get another white source, another black source. That's fine. Black, 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 white, white. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm going to draw a ton of cards here. Perfect. Okay. Sure, I'll block. Why not? It doesn't really matter there. If they want to make me discard a card, they are more than welcome to. We'll discard the swamp here, get the second white source. We all draw a card. I also like drawing cards. This opponent is Jund. That's a spicy one. I like that. I'm a survivor. Black, black, white, white. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just play this. Why not? Get the visionary on board. If they want to steal it, they are more than welcome to. All right, Meyer Triton from the opponent. I see you also partake in the Meyer Tritons. Very nice. So they can steal, play Kroxa. I'll pitch whatever. It doesn't really matter here. Okay. I'll, I'll take... I'll take three. I'll take three, sure. Right, so there's five cards right now. Three, four. I can sack this. I can draw a lot of cards here. 
Uh, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll just actually sack there. Uh, let's see, what can I do now? Get rid of that. Hold on to my mana. I'll just pass. Sure, here you go. I don't want to take too much damage here, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Seize the day, my minions. All right, I'll get rid of, uh... I'll get rid of the eliminate here, and I'll go ahead and pass the opponent. Oh, perfect. Now I can throw something away. I don't even care now if they play that Kroxa, right? They play that Kroxa, that's good news. We get to throw something else away. I'll probably throw... What do I want to throw away here? Probably the Solemn. Sure, sure. Sure thing. The Shade. Okay. Seems good. Uh, yeah, I, I probably should kill that at some point. That seems like a powerful magic card, Kroxa, that is. All right, and we take game one against what is, it seems to be, for the most part, Rakdos. Uh, Ugin seems decent. Oogly, googly, boogly, boogly, loogly. Uh, and we probably don't want too many Eerie Ultimatums here. I don't think we can afford having a, a seven drop against this opponent, but uh, what else do we not want now? One of the dead, kind of a cute one of... Uh, what one of the main like one of the things that I left from the original list? Maybe we don't need the Lily here. I mean, Lily on the draw seems a little scary. Doom foretold, kind of medium here. So yeah, I keep this hand one thousand percent. Keep this hand. Play the Triome into the Swamp Wolf uh, Willow Haven in onto my Swamp. Oh, never mind. They're probably gonna. Well, they're probably still gonna take my. Blessing, right? Like, Blessing draws me a lot of cards. And they see the Shadow's Verdict there. The Shadow's Verdict is also really good against this opponent. Alright, Cling to Dust. Pretty good from the opponent there. Congratulations. Yeah, I'll just play Shovel then. So we have black, black, we go white, white, we play this, we'll have green, green. Okay, so we play this uh, pathway on the white side. Sure, there goes my shovel, you got it. Okay, pass the opponent. Ooh, double, double Fable Passage is not the greatest thing to see, but yeah, alright. Timmy calls the dead, you got it. Interesting. Okay, so can they make me sacrifice stuff still? I mean, I hope not, but... So white, white, black, black. Okay, sure. All right. There you go, opponent. Have fun. Go at it. Are they just randomly like a control deck now? Soul Shatter, you got it. I'll just go ahead and put Yorion into my hand. Yeah, that's good. I have black, black. We'll have all the mana we need. We have green, green. They know about Shadow's Verdict, so they're probably going to hang out for a bit, right? Before they even try to, like, kill it. So, you got it, bud. You know what? I'll, I'll kill this. I'll kill this. I'll kill the token. Now that they haven't, you know, now they are just going to move into the next combat step, that's fine. Sure. Removal for the opponent. I mean, they essentially drew two cards, made me discard a card. Pretty nice. Not bad. 
I think they're definitely holding on to something, so we want to get what value we can right now. Sure, it exiles my own graveyard, unfortunately, which gets the one shovel that we have. So now we should be able to lure out whatever they're holding, right? Because they only know about the first Shadow's Verdict. They don't know about the second one yet. Uh, Omen of the Dead. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and play the Yori on here. I think I need to blink the Treacherous Blessing. Because what's going to happen here is they're going to play Kroxa and they probably have a way to give it haste, yeah? So that's exactly enough to kill us, a de like make us discard a ton of cards. Oh, no way to kill Yorion yet. Or maybe it's sorcery speed. Surprisingly, there's only just a creature in the yard and it is just Kroxa. Okay. Yeah, I'll pitch the green source. I don't have any need for that card. Sure, claim the firstborn. Hmm. What do I want out of this? If I kill that, it's not good enough. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll ditch that. Got a block, probably? No, do I? I don't know if I can just keep taking a ton of damage, though. I take six here. I go down to five. I'm limited to the numbers. Yeah, okay, I got a block. I got a block. All right, I'm going to go for this. Let's get rid of that. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to make them eat their graveyard yet again. And I'm going to pitch the Elspeth's Nightmare here. I think the Shadow's Verdict still has value for me. So do they have exactly another Claim the Firstborn plus a way to remove my Pelucranos? I'll get rid of that. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and hit them for 12. So they hit me with a Rankle here. Uh, Rankle's going to make me sack this. That means they have to get rid of their own thing, which is great news for us. Hagra Mauling. Okay, and then here's Rankle Mana. Oh, no Rankle Mana. And then we just play it again. All right, GG's. The Dark Knight was taken down by an Avenger. I'll take the play. We cannot cast any of our cards, so we are going to mulligan here. Uh, yeah, this this will be a good mulligan. That's much better. That is precisely what I want for an opener. Okay, so we'll go with... This gives me another green, black, green, white. So yeah, okay, or white, green, or white, black. Uh, probably want to move Doom Foretold to the bottom here. We need to get a land, right? So I guess now the question is, do I want to play... Okay, so it is Grill. I think we do play the Shovel. Because then we get to draw more the following turn. Like, they've got to have three damage to kill this. I'm not blocking, so it gets through. Huh. I'll probably kill the innkeeper then. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and draw a card. Leave this back as a blocker. So land Embercleave is obviously sad times. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll be blocking the shield breaker then. Right on. Now if they play something like the uh, Great Henge here, I guess I don't hate that. However, that is 12 damage. One way or the other. So you got it, buddy. Oh, no, no Embercleave? Hold on. They always have it. This must be a bug. There's a bug. There's a bug. It's called the bug is called um they, they don't have Ember Cleave, and I don't know how to respond to that. Um uh, okay.
Uh, let's go ahead and sit back then. I mean, no Shatter Skull Summit for the opponent? Do they know about this bug? I guess I'll block here. See if they play Embercleave or something like that, because they always have it. Sure. Actually, you know what? I'm okay with that. They can hit me with all of it. Because I'll get to draw more cards anyways off this and gain the life, so it's not that bad. Now we kill the Brushfire Elemental. Okay, so what do they do here? They play that... That's one heck of a magic card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have white. What is this, green? So we want to go with... And we have white, white, so we go another black source. We have black source in hand. I think we want to get a... Yeah, we want to get a white source here. Oddly enough, I think I'm just going to let this get in. I'm a firm believer that they must have an Ember Cleave. Yeah, that's fine. Scavenging Ooze. Okay, um... Yeah, that's fine. Sure. I don't mind taking the damage there, because I, I, I'm more afraid of them playing an Ember Cleave and then hitting me with that, than them just, like, you know, playing, like, continuously trying to get there off this Brushfire Elemental. Okay, that's not bad at all! I do not mind this card dying at all. Do I even have any creatures? No, right? Okay, so this ooze is just here to eat up my yard? My yard! Uh, quite unfortunate. We've drawn another land. Hopefully we can thin out the deck a little bit. Uh, this is a cleave we lose, right? Because it's exactly lethal. Or, no, I guess we get a little life out of it, but... Oh, okay, sure. I will gladly draw more cards, thank you. Huh. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh. That's such a good draw. Goodness gracious. I need to draw an answer, so I gotta get rid of the ooze. Huh. Five, eight mana. Okay. Well, I'm going to kill this annoying edge wall innkeeper. Then I'll pass. The innkeeper keeps them, like, drawing cards all day long. That's a problem, but can I take six for that? Oh boy, this is all bad. I, I think I have to kill this, right? Yeah, I just have to kill this. Unfortunately, I'm gonna take two for that. They're gonna draw a card. I can't take four damage. I don't have any sweepers in the main deck.
Okay, oh my gosh, I just realized I, I just took a ton of unnecessary damage, didn't I? But no, I, I gained a ton of life off this. It's not so bad. Uh, let's see, I gained some life back. Okay, there's the Doom Foretold that we've been looking for. They're going to draw a lot of cards this turn. That's the big concern I have. The good news is that the Lovestruck Beast can't attack right now, but... Then we just need to get Doom Foretold on the board? Yeah, well, the thing about Brushfire Elemental is that it immediately grows and becomes a 2-2. So this beast can't attack. They have to draw either they have to draw another love struck beast and drop the token part. Uh yeah, sure. I'll have to kill. I will go for down to three. I need to find an ECD or something here because they have an Ember Cleave. I'm in so much trouble. Does that help? Yeah, it gets me a little bit of life gain back. So I just got to live, right? That's it. Now, if they find something like a 1-1 one, one to like swing, then that's bad times for us, but... As of right now, I'm just going to send everything in front of this Emberith Shield Breaker. Alright, send everything in front of it. I'm not getting cleaved out of this one. Because there's no way they've drawn that many cards and don't hit an Ember Cleave, right? So I have to believe they have one. Yeah, there it is. All right, it's as expected, right? There's the Cleave. All right, so we might actually have it now. Play land. All right, get a white source. Go Eerie Ultimatum. Blink almost everything back in. Three, six, seven, right? I have exactly six, seven after this. Okay. I'll bring all of it back. Sure, why not? Oh, baby! Nice and close! Just the way I like that matchup. I don't. I don't at all, actually. You hate that that was nice and close. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, Doom Foretold, no. Eerie Ultimatum, probably not. We cannot keep that in this time around. Um... Doom for Toll's like kind of decent here, I guess. I don't know how many uh, like of these treacherous blessings I could play. They're kind of risky. Uh, Omen of the Dead seems kind of useless, so I'm gonna get rid of that here. We got a little lucky with it, but answer, answer. I think I've got to run this. This is early interaction and lands to go with it. I, I think this is as good as it gets for us. So, sure. Yeah, that's one of their the most threatening things they could play on the early turns. I hope I can find an answer to that uh, real soon. Sure. Well, that was quite nice of our deck there to give us exactly that. 
Um, I'm gonna thin the deck now. We don't need that many lands. So they were holding up mana for Stomp there, I assume. I cannot actually answer that, so... Or I can't with at least the uh, Elspeth's Nightmare. Which is a low-value play, then. Oh, man. Okay, um... I'll just get another green source. I'm just gonna play Elspeth's Nightmare. If they have the... The, whatever, the Henge, then we can discard it. Or, I mean, we can kill it with Mythos. We take seven here if they have a fetch land. Um, and now we just need to survive, right? I mean, I'm very concerned about how big this Kazandu Mammoth is about to get. One land, still a problem, because, okay, sure, you got it. That was going to be the same end result anyways. White, white, green, black, black, black. All right, cool. They're at three mana, so what is their four? Why, why do they keep this hand? Let's find out. Uh, then we go ahead and play the swamp here. They need that awkward second red mana right now, right? Uh, okay, let's trade. Saves me some health a little. Oh, nice, nice draw, nice draw, nice draw. All right, pass to the opponent. Sure, opponent, you got it. So Phoenix of Ash. Black, 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 white, white, green. Yeah, I'll just play Yorion as a body. If they want to kill this Yorion, they're going to have to do more than just... Oh, a Vivian is nice, is it not? Okay, so I can kill non-token creature. They'll probably attack, right? At some point, they'll definitely attack. That's a reach token. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. It's a pretty nifty draw, actually. I think I can get them to play that last card. Or that last Phoenix. I do not mind blocking here. Alright, Love Struck Beast and more stuff. That's exactly what I want to see. Alright, pass the opponent. All right, they have three new cards. That's concerning. I'll go ahead and just shoot that down, and then I'll pass. No attacks. Go ahead, your turn. An Ugin is a, a welcome sight for our deck, I would say. They're more than welcome to eat up that ox if they'd like. Because now I get to sit here with Yorion block whatever hasty threat they might play next. And they do need to answer this very quickly. Oh, okay, it's spiraling out of control. Not so now we're just gonna go ahead and make some bodies. I won't lie to you here, I'd rather be lucky than good. I'd rather be lucky than good. You cannot run or hide. Sure, there's the cleave. We have more bodies to put on the board, why not?
So we have nine points of toughness here, right? So they equip there. Sure. How do I survive? Because it's only one damage. They're going to deal five, and they're going to deal more again to each one of my things, huh? Yeah, sure. I'll block it. They, they, they still send one, right? They send one there. That's potentially the difference between my stuff surviving here. Right? They send four to, like, any of my things, right? That's great. Four to Garrick. Kill off my Garrick. Oh, that changes everything. Yeah, this is fine. We don't want to actually give them a reason to get into combat, right, with this Phoenix, so... If they have a way to get one more card in the yard, we're in trouble. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I think they have it here if they actually just attack with both. All right, so they have an... Oh, they're dead. GG's. Oh, my gosh. They have to have a one drop? Please don't have a one drop. 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 Please don't have a one drop or a two drop. Just have nothing. Just actually have nothing. Okay, sure. Oh, my God. Wait, that does change things. Yeah, we send in everybody. Okay, so they're down to four. Okay, now we pass, right? I mean, I could have put them down to one. But what I need them to do is try to play the Phoenix and kill me. Oh no, that doesn't matter because they have the ability to pump. Oh my god, you're right. I'm dead either way. Like if I shot one down... Doesn't change anything, yeah. Oh, this is such a good game! Alright, I don't think there was a line there, right? That was a really good draw from them, Questing Beast plus exactly what they needed. That's five. Right, they pump it, they, they pump it again, that's up to seven. Yeah, it doesn't matter here. No matter what I do, I'm dead. No matter what I do, I'm dead. That was a really good draw, that Questing Beast, plus that. Oh, so disgusting. All right. Um, wow, they beat two Planeswalkers. Look at that. Guess you're never really out of it, huh? As long as there's a cleave, you're never really out of it. Wow, that was a good game, though. That was actually just a really good game. Um... Uh, yeah, I gotta keep this after that debacle that just happened. I have an Ugin, at least. Ugin's beatable. I don't know why people don't even like it. it look at that. Embercleave destroys Ugin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it comes. The value train that is your deck. So I need to get Visionary out. Then I need to play Doom Foretold. They have Wilt. Yeah, sure, opponent's gonna shock here. Go ahead, let's get rid of the Edgewall Innkeeper. It's not a bad one. So they stomp my Visionary. Pass. So, oh, Wilt gets cycled. That's good. That's actually really good for us. Oh my god. So if I get to actually keep my Visionary, I can pass to them. I can play this land, tap the Visionary. Yeah, all right. Here you go.
I think I could use that. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one at all. Wow, that... I cannot believe we lost that last game. Maybe we... You know what? I'm sure YouTube will yell at me in some way. Uh, so we'll find out how I could have won that, but... Uh, what do I want to sacrifice here? Sure. I'll sack that, that's fine. Alright, so now we have our Pelucranos, which by the way gets kind of owned by Bone Crusher, but... There's the ox, you got it. I drew a card, which is the most important part. Essentially, Bone Crusher deals four damage to Pelucranos. Vivian, okay. We have the Yorion in hand, so I'm not too worried about that. Huh, I wonder if I should just fight this. I call, and Decoria answers. Seems I need to evolve too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hang back. They probably have like Ember Cleave or something wild like that. And now if they play anything that is too good, we'll just go ahead and blink here. Get it all back. And nice thing is we have the Acolyte of Affliction. I do like me some Acolyte of Affliction. They don't play anything. We play it anyways. We get our Doom Foretold back. Call it a day. Perfect. I don't mind losing my own threat for that. Let's just go into combat. The good news is that, because remember, we have the uh, Acolyte of Affliction to get back ECD. They play Questing Beast, they're dead here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, why don't you block? I would highly recommend blocking here. We put him down to one, I know, I know. If I, if I activate, we put it down to one, but I don't think that's actually what we need. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna play Acolyte of Affliction. Grab me back some ECD here. Pass to the opponent. This way we're guaranteed to be able to get the loot back, right? Like I can kill my a a like Acolyte of Affliction, not a big deal. All right, we're going to go ahead and play the Birth of Miletus here. Get the land. Let's be efficient just in case they have removal. Play the ECD. We have the Yorion in hand to exile or to blink all of our stuff back. And that looks like it's GG. Woo! We had some really good games today. They were grindy, like really grindy. I'm pretty sure this video is probably pushing a pretty high duration. So I'll go ahead and make this quick. The deck list is fun. I cannot wait to see what Kaldheim brings for uh, all of the enchantments that we can blink. Uh, and I guess we, bet we better get ready for a pretty mid-range grind fest outside of the Grohl decks, which I played. That last game was amazing by the opponent. So good job uh, if you're my last round opponent. And of course, as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching another episode of Fish 5 And as always, your friendly neighborhood just reminding you to, you know, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger reminding you to leave a like, a sub, and of course hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video goes live. Other than that, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.